Did Jesus really reveal the name of the Antichrist? I report, you decide. This is an updated and more accurate and understandable version of my previous upload on this same topic. In Luke chapter 10, verse 18, we read these words of Jesus. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. These words are written in Greek and translated to English. However, Jesus probably spoke these words in Aramaic. Aramaic is a part of the Northwest Semitic group of languages, which also includes Hebrew. Aramaic script was widely adopted for other languages and is ancestral to the Arabic and Hebrew alphabets. Two words in this text are of particular interest. The words are lightning and heaven. Jesus said, I saw Satan falling as lightning from heaven. In Greek, the word for lightning is a strape. It has a direct Hebrew equivalent. From Strong's Hebrew Dictionary, words 1299 and 1300 from the Hebrew language, the word for lightning is barak. In the Greek text of Luke chapter 10, the word translated as heaven in Greek is uranos. It can mean the heaven of God, but it also carries with it the connotation of the heights or a high place or the domain of Satan himself. Evidence of this is found in the same book of Luke in chapter 8, verse 5, when Jesus speaks of the gospel being attacked demonically, he uses these words, and the birds of the air devoured it. Here, the most accepted context by biblical scholars is that the birds are the demonic realm and the air is the realm of Satan from on high or the heights. The Greek word used here for air is uranos, evidence that this Greek word is not always used in the sense of the heaven of God, but it can be used for the heights or the high places or the domain of Satan himself. In Luke chapter 10 verse 18, this is the exact context of Jesus' words. I saw Satan falling like lightning from the heights or the high places, or from Satan's domain on high, or from the heavens or heaven. If Jesus' word, translated in the English text as heaven, was referring to the heaven of God, the Hebrew word would be shamayim. More than likely, though, according to the context of Luke 10 and Luke 8, Jesus was not referring to the shamayim of God, but rather the domain of Satan. Now consider this amazing fact. The book of Isaiah is the source of origin for the Christian concept of Satan or Lucifer. In Isaiah chapter 14, verses 12 through 19 especially. In Isaiah chapter 14, verse 14, we hear these words spoken by Satan himself. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. This matches the exact context of Jesus' words in Luke chapter 10. In the verses of Isaiah that refer directly to Lucifer, several times it is mentioned that Satan has fallen from the heights or from the heavens. The Hebrew word used in this text for the heights from which Satan fell is Hebrew word number 1116 in the Strong's Hebrew Dictionary, and it is pronounced Bama. Bama is most commonly used to refer to a high sacred place as well as to the heights of the heavens or clouds. So in Jesus' prophecy of Luke chapter 10 verse 18, if spoken by a Jewish rabbi in Hebrew, influenced by the poetry of Isaiah, he would use, in one form or another, depending upon the exact wording and context, the words that come from the root forms of these two Hebrew words, Barak and Bama, to describe Satan falling like lightning from on high. Hebrew for lightning is Barak, and Hebrew for the heights or the high places is Bama. This fact is indisputable. So was Jesus actually giving us a clue as to who the future Antichrist might be? Many believe so. It is possible that it is merely a strange coincidence. Yet it cannot be denied. If Hebrew words were used to describe Jesus' statement about Satan falling or coming to earth, perhaps as a man in the form of the Antichrist, the Hebrew words Barak and Bama would be used.